The Charlotte Area Transit System, or CATS, and the City of Charlotte opened the Lynx Blue Line in November 2007. The Lynx Blue Line is the first light rail line in North Carolina. This 9.6-mile alignment operates from I-485 at South Boulevard to Uptown Charlotte. With 15 stations, 7 park and rides, and a congestion-free commute with a consistent travel time, the Lynx Blue Line has been highly successful. The project has been recognized nationally and internationally for its design, operations, safety, ridership, and transit-oriented development. Now, CADS is moving forward with the construction of the $1.16 billion Lynx Blue Line extension. This project is not just bringing rail to Charlotte's University City, it's bringing commuters to a new choice. The Blue Line extension connects educational opportunities, the arts, jobs, conventions, businesses, and more. This 9.3 mile extension adds 11 stations and four park and rides to the current Lynx Blue Line. The project begins where the existing Blue Line ends, at 7th Street Station, by Imaginon, and the 7th Street Public Market. The first station is at 9th Street, located adjacent to the UNC Charlotte Center City Campus. Sidewalks connect pedestrians between 9th and 12th Streets. From the 9th Street Station, the alignment passes under the existing 11th Street and I-277 bridges and crosses 12th Street. It then bridges over the existing CSX tracks and follows along the North Carolina Railroad Corridor to 16th Street. After crossing 16th Street, the line moves on to the Parkwood Station at the intersection of Parkwood Avenue and North Brevard Street, near the neighborhoods of Belmont, Optimus Park, and Villa Heights. Between 22nd and 23rd Streets is the entrance to the project's North Yard facility. Constructed on part of the existing Norfolk Southern Intermodal Yard, this facility will provide train dispatch, a cleaning area, and overnight train storage. The next station is at 25th Street, near Little Sugar Creek. New sidewalks join the 25th Street and Parkwood stations. The Blue Line extension passes under the existing Matheson Avenue Bridge, and then it's on to 36th Street Station in Charlotte's historic North Davidson, also known as Noda. The station in Noda brings riders to one of the liveliest art districts in the city, home of unique restaurants, art galleries, and music venues. In this area, the Lynx Blue Line extension construction lowers vehicle traffic on 36th Street to travel under the existing freight tracks and the new light rail tracks. The station platform is partially located on a bridge structure crossing the street below. From 36th Street, the light rail line heads to the Sugar Creek Station. On the way to the Sugar Creek Station, the project parallels a portion of North Davidson Street and then bridges over the freight tracks at Craighead Road. The Sugar Creek Station is the first park and ride on the Blue Line extension. Parking accommodates 600 to 700 spaces. Immediately north of the Sugar Creek Station, the North Carolina Department of Transportation is designing a grade separation project for Sugar Creek Road to bridge over the railroad corridor. CATS and NCDOT are working together to coordinate the road and the light rail construction. The Blue Line extension continues along the North Carolina Railroad Corridor and passes under the newly lengthened Eastway Drive Bridge. The next station is the Old Concord Road Station. The park and ride for this station provides approximately 300 spaces. The station and park and ride are accessible from both Old Concord Road and North Tryon Street. After leaving the station, the Blue Line extension bridges over the intersection of North Tryon Street and Old Concord Road and into the new North Tryon Street median. The light rail project widens North Tryon Street for the next four miles, building a median, improving the north and southbound travel lanes, and providing bike lanes, planting strips, and sidewalks. The light rail runs the newly constructed median, separated from the vehicle traffic lanes. Four new traffic signals are added to North Tryon Street between Old Concord Road and Tom Hunter Road. Similar to the South Corridor, the Blue Line extension construction includes light rail bridges at major intersections, such as Old Concord Road, I-85 Connector, University City Boulevard, and W.T. Harris Boulevard to minimize traffic impacts for roadway vehicles. Next on the alignment is the Tom Hunter Station, serving the Hidden Valley and Newell South neighborhoods. Here, riders will see artwork created by neighborhood children incorporated into the station design. Traveling further northeast, the line bridges over the existing North Tryon I-85 connector and reaches the University City Boulevard station. 
the largest of the four park and ride lots with 1,500 parking spaces. Commuters can enter the University City Boulevard parking garage from North Tryon Street via a new street that provides a convenient connection to City Boulevard and I-85. After the University City Boulevard intersection, we reach McCullough Station. The light rail then bridges over W.T. Harris Boulevard and heads to the J.W. Clay Boulevard Station, which includes a parking garage on the northwest corner of North Tryon Street and J.W. Clay Boulevard. The four to five levels of parking accommodate 600 to 800 vehicles. As the train leaves the station, the alignment continues in the median of North Tryon. After passing the intersection at Institute Circle, the rail line gradually descends under the northbound lanes of North Tryon and enters the UNC Charlotte campus. The line bridges over Toby Creek and heads to the UNC Charlotte station, the last stop on the line. The station is located on the campus across from Wallace Hall Dormitory and near the Student Union. Scheduled to open in 2017, the Lynx Blue Line extension generates economic growth, connects communities, provides commuting choices, and supports the development of pedestrian-friendly urban neighborhoods with a mixture of land uses.